And so the additional sources of passive income through real estate, and I kind of went down a list for you. There was the single family homes, there's the apartment buildings, there's the storage facilities. You get the picture. Well, I personally have chosen single family homes. And I think that's a great place to start for most people just because it's a simple, easy to understand asset class. You've got a house, people are out there, they need a roof over their head, they're gonna have to pay for it anyway. So if you own the house, that's a pretty predictable income, a pretty reliable and dependable income for someone to want to live in that house and rent that space from you. That's provided the type of passive income that I want. It's done very well for me. And I really haven't seen any need to venture out and try a different asset class. So to get started, just kind of look at the different asset classes that are out there. Go ahead and educate yourself on the few that you find most appealing right away, and then just decide on one. And then go deep with your education and learn everything you can about it.